Hello, my lovely subscribers. How are you doing today? This video is of me f completing the Head in the Clouds piece that I started a while back, and I it took me forever to show you all. And I actually find this part of it to be more interesting than the actual painting of the subject being that female with no hair and her brain full of air and clouds, right? But um, I decided I wanted to dabble. See, initially what I was gonna do was I was gonna take some paper or something, canvas, I don't even know. And I was gonna go outside and I was just gonna go wild on the canvas with paint, like spray paint and other things. But I changed my mind because I felt like it would be more appealing to do something that was a little more thought out other than something that was random and wild because I've done enough random and wild stuff. But rarely do I do a background that's actually just as detailed, if not more, than the subject matter. Now, sometimes you don't wanna do that, especially if the subject matter is the main focus. But I felt like with this piece, they have equal importance. So I was thinking, instead of doing something wild, I'm gonna do a collage. I just went through the magazine. A lot of it was going through the magazine and cutting out pieces. And I didn't really plan on how I was going to lay it out initially. I just started gluing stuff down. And I was just, hold up, I should plan out what should go first. Because there's certain things I want to pop more and have more emphasis on more than others. And, you know, I haven't really done a lot of collage like that. When I was in high school, I dabbled a little bit with collage. Um, um, in my art class, I took like art. I took like eight art classes in high school. It's amazing. But I can't remember which art it was. It was probably art or something like that. And we were supposed to do a collage. And I decided to do a collage of a memory that I had in elementary school. Bottom line was the final product was actually pretty damn ugly. And it was hideous. And I kind of deemed collage is not my forte. But you could get pretty good at almost anything if you try or if you practice at it. And you actually think about it. See, there was a jump there. Look, everything is kind of out of order, honestly. So what y'all just saw is me placing out how I wanted the little stripes to be on there. See, everything was just planned out. And what I ended up doing, right now what you're seeing is me gluing everything. But what y'all didn't see is I planned out everything before I started gluing it. And then I took a picture of it. Actually, that's what you're seeing right now. What am I saying? You see me right now. I'm planning out everything um, before I actually finalize stuff. Um, some things I already knew I wanted to do, like what you're seeing right now, but that's what I did. And I really like these cutout things where I actually find it easier for me to take the subject matter, cut it out from the original piece of paper, and then glue it onto a background. But the only reason why I don't do that very often is because, number one, I don't like to glue that much. It could be pretty but Mod Podge is a little bit better than other glue medium where it, you get like this ugly brown color from like dirt and stuff on top of it. Or maybe that was just my inexperience in glue as a child. Probably what it was. But anyway, I don't like to work with glue so much because it's just ridiculous. But this time around, I say, you know what? I'm just going to do it because I always like how it ends up looking. And I like doing the backgrounds and then cutting out the uh, the subject matter from the original paint piece and then incorporating it into this new environment without making it look like it's just stuck there. See what I did was I put some parts on top of her to make it look like she was a part of the environment and that just smacked on top. You know, interesting thing is the cutout of her left behind a piece of paper of a cutout. I, I cut out like her and perfectly almost so I wouldn't have any stray marks because I wanted to use the original paper that I cut out of her as another artwork and the idea came to me and it seemed genius and you guys won't see this unless you follow me on Instagram so I'll just share with you all what it was basically the idea the concept behind it is somebody is longing for this female that's in this fish or it could be somebody else it's up to viewers discretion and they get to the point where they become obsessive and you know what? There's no way I can really show you. Y'all just have to look at it. Follow me on Instagram and you'll see it later on, okay? That's basically what's going on. And I just thought the idea was so good. The way I'm going to portray it is just fantastic. And I hope you enjoyed it. This video was actually supposed to be out to y'all 
on yesterday. On yesterday. Yesterday. But yesterday I was on my medication and it made me realize how I'm so dysfunctional without my medication. You know, it's a little bit disappointing and sad because it's like, why are you this dysfunctional? as your normal self. But then again, maybe my self is not normal self. Maybe I have an issue. That's my problem. No, it's it's not even that I have an issue. Society has an issue with people like me. That's the way I like to look at it. Because if you think about it, the way we live is not even natural. We don't live... I mean, where um, who in nature uses money as a means to afford basic survival? I mean, animals in the wild don't pay in dollars or whatever currency to eat okay when you want to eat you go out you find food you eat does that mean that we'll live longer no we'll probably die sooner oh shoot my thing is dying i should have plugged it up but anyway we we still gonna die soon but it's just unnatural so the way i am is just hold up i'm plugging my thing up i should have plugged it in the beginning anyway the way i am is just not based on what nature i mean what society attends on life to be like okay we're supposed to be functioning different. So anyway, I'm, I'm going on the trend. Okay, so I wasn't on my medication and I basically did absolutely nothing that day and I had no energy or no desire to do anything. But the reason why I wasn't on it was because the medication that I have now is no longer strong or as strong as it was before, but it's enough to keep me semi on track. So I realized the difference without it. And then I started getting like these issues with depression again. It was just freaking terrible. You know, I should have just been on it yesterday. That's what I should have done. Maybe then I would have been, no, maybe not. Actually, I don't really care that much, but maybe then I would have gotten something done instead of sitting on my ass all day. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed it. I think it turned out beautifully and make sure you leave a comment and you like this video. All right, guys, peace.